Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Uh, this is my second review today. Uh, it's not 12 o'clock yet, but it's like a minute from there. Basically, it's just Christmas Eve right now. But yeah. So I have um, the Air Jordan uh, Retro 5s, the Oreo 5s that came out in November. These dropped, um, I think November 28th. 28th or 9th or 29th. Same uh, day the Six Rings came out. I bought both the same day, but yeah, so let's get into the basics of the shoe. They cost, um, shoot, sorry for the lighting, I know you can't see that. They cost, retail price is one, um, 170, take, take the shoes off, retail price is 170, um, yeah. There it goes. Retail 170, size eight and a half. Um, here's what came inside the box: some black paper and the gray paper. Surprisingly, since the box is um black, red, and um, grayish, I'm surprised my uh, six rings didn't come in that box. Six rings came in the box that was black and white, which is very surprising. But yeah, this is like this is my third Jordan review so it's not gonna be the best but yeah shoe came with the lace lock obviously all fives come with one and uh, yeah you got a sort of a grayish silver metallic um, jump man and then I think the jump man on the lace lock is either white or gray I know you can't see that but yeah so yeah I got a lot of hate for the shoe as well a whole lot of people called them ugly in my opinion, I in my opinion, I think they look good. I like them. So, I'm a big fan of um, black Jordan fives. So, yeah, huge big huge fan for that. Um, yeah, I chose to wear the lace lock on the shoe because it looks pretty cool. But yeah, so yeah, the Air Jordan in the back. You see the white lining, and then the jump man, a white jump man on the back to go with the Oreo colorway, black and white, obviously. Now thing is about the shoe um what's gonna happen probably I mean this hasn't happened to me yet but it's starting to is that if you wear jeans let's say you had a new pair of blue jeans or whatever and uh, you um, tuck them in that's what I do in my jeans because I like to have this tongue and everything showing but um, they will they will bleed a little bit in the shoe just just a little bit not a lot but they'll bleed a little bit in the shoe hasn't happened to me just yet but it will happen possibly I don't know but yeah, cool thing is though, um, about the shoe has this um, material on it, this suede material. A lot of people call it ashy, but um, I don't know if you can see that. You're not gonna be able to see it on this camera at least, but yeah, it's just basically the same upper as a grape, as the grapes, uh, the black grape fives. So suede, so it's ashy, so if it's like. A little dusty a little bit it's not really dusty but you can just wipe it off now if your shoes get stepped on it's gonna leave a permanent well not permanent but a permanent like an ash mark on the suede that has happened to me but it could happen if your shoes get stepped on I hope that doesn't happen especially on purpose either but yeah it was the air bubble that's white I believe um, shark teeth, uh, black and white, go with the Oreo colorway. I'm a big fan of the Oreo 6s. Those are my favorite uh, Oreo shoe. Uh, the bottom of the shoe, it's going to be a little dirty. It's icy blue, jump man right there. I know it's dirty, I've worn them. I'll clean that later, but icy blue. It says Jordan right there, and then same thing right there. So, huge fan of these shoes. Um, how people use the lace lock, how I had them before, it comes looking like this, and then it'll just have them poking out, but I had the lace lock down here, it all depends on how you want to wear it, um, or whatever, but yeah, not so much in the shoe, about the shoe, I had a lot of hate for it, but, I mean, I bought the shoe, you didn't, well, I'm not saying you specifically, but you know, people that didn't like it, <laughs> that didn't like it, <coughs> but yeah, that's basically that. So shoe retails 170. I don't know how much it costs with, with tax. You gotta find that out yourself. But yeah, these these didn't sell out. These did not sell out. I don't think. 
Well, when I got them, they didn't sell out the first day like a bunch of other shoes, such as Bread 11s or freaking Gamma Blue 11s. I don't know. I don't even know if they sold out, but I got me a pair, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'll show you the box again. Red Jumpman. Red Jumpman on the front, and then all the basics on this side. The tag and everything. I know you can't see that because the lighting here sucks, especially my freaking camera. But yeah. I really like it. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, give you another look at the shoe. Yeah. So I'm a huge fan of five, especially the great fives, the black one. I'll, I'll go for any black shoe. Really, big fan of that, especially the fives. This is, this isn't my favorite five. It's the only five I have, but it's not my favorite. My favorite one is the uh, the great fives, the black ones, and the Laney fives. I really like those, but yeah. So be sure to follow the Twitter and Instagram link in the description and all that. If you if you get a vibration, I'm sorry, I'm in a group conversation uh, again. But yeah, so that's my review on the Jordan on the Air Jordan Retro Oreo Fives, and peace out.